Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Lush shower gel collection video to share with you guys. So let's just get right into this. So you guys probably know my love for Lush. I love Lush very much. Now um, things have changed a bit. I don't really, I'm not able to take as many baths living where I am right now where I used to. So I do tend to find myself picking up more of the shower gel products. I am part of also the Lush Kitchen subscription. So each and every month and actually the other one for the month of uh, February or January, sorry. The one for the month of January is on its way to me like right now. Too bad I probably would be adding something to this. But anyway, let's get cracking. Let's start off with the larger sizes that I have. This is the 500 milliliters. Generally, they do the 500 mils. They do a 250, which is half. And then they have another one here that's 100 mils. So those are the three standard sizes they sell. Like I know they do liter ones, but they're special to only a couple different scents. So if you really love a Lush scent, uh, they do have a liter bottle, which is twice the size of this. But this one here is 500 milliliters. This is the oldest Lush shower gel that I own. It is Yognog. If you guys are not familiar with Yognog, this is the most sweet, delicious, beautiful shower gel I have ever owned and I've actually currently got a snow fairy in my shower which I forgot to take out to show you guys but I have a snow fairy this size as well right now in the shower I think I'm down to about here with that one and that's a sweet candy scent this is a sweet gourmand like mm, ooey gooey now how they describe this is cozy up to creamy caramel scented lathers with a touch of spicy clove if you guys know me for personal fragrance as well as doing videos of course of anything like scented you guys know how much i love a chai uh, if you guys knew probably that i would love this this is just awesome now the other thing with uh, lush is they always have the how to use top tips and good to knows on the side here and on the very back I'll try to see if it don't blind you here. They have a sticker about who made it, when it was poured or made, and then the date that they say expiration. Now, as you guys can see, as I mentioned already, this is the oldest shower gel I own, and it expired a year ago, <laughs> just over a year ago. So with that being said, um, I actually will use my shower gels longer than the expiration dates. If the lotions de definitely tend to smell funky after some time, so I don't tend to use those when they go really bad. This is a little bit more globby, but in the essence of everything, it's really fine. There's completely natural ingredients in here. We're good. Next up, I have a brand new to me. If you guys could tell how much I love, like the sweet scents, the, the gourmand, you probably knew I was gonna pick up one of their newer scents, which is Sticky Dates. And Sticky Dates just sort of came out in the last little while. I wanna say in the last year to year and a half. It's described as a light lather made with a date syrup to leave your skin soft and gently kissed with a vanilla sandalwood scent gorgeous you guys again if you're gourmand lovers when it comes to home fragrance or personal fragrance this is absolutely gorgeous again this one is vegan i believe that's with a v and i believe yes the um Yognog was also had a V on it as well. So these are vegan friendly. Expires the 15th of January, 2024. So lots of time. I do go through shower gels quite quickly. Um, a size like this. Well, I mean, I think I do. A uh, size like this will go 500 mils, maybe a month and a half to two months tops. Um, anyway, I go through these pretty quick. The last of the 500 mils, but one of the newest to my collection, I just happened to go into Victoria, which is the capital city of British Columbia, which isn't too far from where I live. And I walked, I was like, let's oh, just go into a Lush. I want to smell some stuff. And this and a couple other items we're going to discuss shortly, they had a restock of their Christmas stuff. So everything was 50% off. This has a really, it's like a reddish color. It's got a, like a gold luster, as you can see on the bottom. Of course, when you shake it up and you use it and go upside down, of course, it kind of shakes up and it goes like in your poof and all that stuff, however you choose to have a shower. This hot toddy scent is gorgeous. I've had this before. It's a repurchase of mine, but I haven't had it for a few years. I like this. I like one that was called Glog. I love like the mulled wine kind of smell. Oh, the spices are so good. This one here is described as raise your spirits and warm up with a spicy trio of cinnamon, ginger, and clove. Again, you guys, you knew I would likely, <laughs> I would love this one. And this one here says... Let's see, used by January 20 or January 17th, 2024. And that's how where it was poured. 
uh, expiry date and who poured it. All right, let's move on to the medium sizes that I have. I have three of them and I'm gonna show you one that I did receive in a Lush kitchen box. It was from the October box, which was my first box. Um, I wasn't super happy with that particular box in the sense that it's October and you know, you're starting to get all those really cool candy smells, you know, like you think Halloween, you're, you're warming up to some cinnamon, some caramels, all that kind of thing, or, or apple for that matter. I was really hoping for apple. Unfortunately, I got the large size <laughs> or the large, to me, of all the, the Lush kitchen boxes, you either get one of these sizes, which is the 250 mil, or you get the teeny tiny one, which we'll talk about shortly. And unfortunately, I got the larger one. This is very floral. I don't know where they were going with this. It's called Ghost. I know it's one of their more popular scents that they're like a throwback scent or fragrance. This is a kitchen exclusive. So anything that says kitchen exclusive on it, you can only get it from this kitchen box. You cannot find this in the actual store. So this one says kitchen exclusive shower gel, a beautiful floral blend of white lily infusion, jasmine and rose. I wish I got the smaller size in this and then the next two months after November's box and December's box I wished I'd gotten a larger size like this one of those ones which we will talk about shortly again it's vegan and this one here is expiry date is November this one here is November 14th 2023 so anyway, um, I'm not, I'm gonna use this. It's not my favorite scent. Again, I didn't select this, but again, I like the Lush Kitchen Box. I actually do not partake in their voting period because I wanna be 100% surprised. So anyway, I will use this up, but not my favorite. Another Lush Kitchen exclusive that I absolutely adored. This came in the December's box. This is Happy Holidays. Again, like it says here, a Lush Kitchen exclusive it is a vegan one here. It says a delectable cherry chocolate scented lather. And again, there's that golden luster, really deep, deep reddish color, very similar to Hot Toddy that we spoke about already. This one here, it has expiry for January 10th, 2024, right here, and who made it, and so on. It looks like the same guy seems making a lot of stuff here. So where what is your name? Your name is Bob, your name is Eric. Eric, you're making a lot of stuff. Way to go. Anyway, I can't wait to dive into this. Like I said, I have a half or partial snow fairy in the shower, which I forgot to bring out, but I do have to use that yognog up first because it is well expired so i'm going to try to use that before i get into all these new ones to me but very happy to have this in my collection and a new to me and a new for valentine's 2023 <laughs> this is love this is one of their classic fragrances that they've had for perfume i believe they bought the perfume back in this for the valentine's day release 2023 so love is described as an alluring wash with hints of sweet toffee apple and soft floral heart yes it has floral in it but there is an amazing sweet caramel apple i think last year they had a different name um shower gel like they used to do the the prince i don't know Prince Charming, oh, Prince Charming shower gel. I didn't like that because it was so floral and they kept doing it for years. And then last year, I think they changed it to something very similar to this and it was super popular. And one of the associates told me in the store when I went to Victoria and I picked this up is that because that difference of not using Prince Charming and coming up with something different, it was super popular that they brought the love back, which was very similar, but not exactly the same as last year's scent so anyway this one here is was made by arnell and it is to be used up before january 30th 2024 so we've got lots of time for this and again this is brand new for valentine's day of 2023 so yay now we're going to talk about some smaller items these are the 100 milliliter bottles this is the smallest size that they sell and it's still quite expensive for shower gel but i do say with lush i don't need to use a lot and i get quite a lot of bubbles this is elf shake on that same trip to victoria i got the hot toddy this one and one other one which we'll mention shortly uh 50 off because they just got restocked in some sale items so anyway elf shake i never did pick this up because i'm like oh well, you know I, I didn't partake in the 50 percent off online sale honestly guys online sucks i would rather go to a store but I just wasn't able to do that this year elf shake is super cool look how green that is now normally you would see this kind of green for like halloween side note 
love Lord of Misrule bath bomb, but despise everything else that they have in it. It's not the same. It's not the exact same scent. The bath bomb is superb. And when it comes to the shower cream, I don't like it at all. But anyway, the same similar color as Elf Shake. So this is the first time I've owned Elf Shake. This is described as a tropical and refreshing body cleanser made with fresh grape, kiwi, apple juice, and a hint of mint. I actually might save this one until summertime because I feel like this is going to be very refreshing as well as probably the next two items that we're going to show you here shortly. So this product here was made by Arnell and it expires October 16th 2023. This particular bottle was in my November Lush Kitchen box. And this is the one that was it's a teeny tiny one. I wish it was a bigger size because I love this one. I would love to see Lush do this again. So again, kitchen exclusive. You can't buy it in store. You can only get the Lush Kitchen box if you either purchase a box once in a while yourself or like myself, I'm on basically a monthly subscription. You can do the subscription or you can not and just choose to buy the box online one time. This is I think it's pronounced Tay Tay or Tai Tai. I think it's Tay Tay. This is so good. Again, one of those ones I'm gonna save till summer. This is described as a warming ginger infusion with a splash of fresh tangerine juice to brighten your day. And it really does. And as a person like myself who loves to have her morning showers, this is a great scent to kind of perk you up and get you started for the day. It is beautiful. And this one was made by Susan. And this is expired December 13th, 2023. And the last one I have to share with you again, I mentioned I forgot to get my shower gel that I have in my shower right now, which is only about that much left of a big 500 mil of Snow Fairy. This is the last one. So this is one I picked up when I went to Victoria again, and I found that they had been restocked. Not only did they restock, the Christmas and holiday scents. Um, they also had a couple different ones that they produced for different times of the year. This was mango, and this is what they brought out for Diwali, which I believe is in November. Anyway, so again, vegan, like 80%, I believe, 80% of um, Lush is vegan. The other 20 is made with honey. So that's why they are only um, vegetarian. So I believe that's the same ratio as it was before. Like, honey, I wash the kids, that kind of thing. Anyway, mango is so superb. If they had this in the 500 ml, I probably would have bought as many as I could because this is a beautiful scent. This one is described as light up the night with this marvelous mango body cleanser. It is a festival of the lights, um, Diwali and that kind of thing. So anyway, I really love that they did that. Uh, and this one was again made by Susan and it expires January 9th, 2024. So this is the mango. So you guys, that is my small collection. I'm not trying, I know there's quite a few here and there's some larger ones that will take me some more time, but I feel like I'm probably gonna get through this stuff within a year. And of course I've got the Lush subscription box and it seems that every month I either get a size like the 250 mil or a 100 mil in my box as well. So I'll likely to always have a little bit of extra, but this is probably what I would use in a year. And I am one of those people who uses one until it's gone. Then I don't bring out another one until the, that one's gone. So there's some really great new to me scents like sticky dates. And then we have happy holidays and love. And of course we have the mango, we have Tay Tay, the elf shake, the one I'm not that happy about, which is ghost, but hot toddy is a repurchase for me and it's nostalgic and I love it. And yognog of course is absolutely delicious. And I've got to use this up because it's quite expired. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like these types of videos, don't forget to, to give this a thumbs up and subscribe down below as well. All right, you guys, as always be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.